Let's talk about area loads and the actual loads that are generated by those area loads. I have a simple framing system here with an area drawn around this center bay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply an, a uniform area load to this area and it upward. So I'm going to switch it so it's negative direction. So it's downward. And when I do that, if I have the right model filter setting under load details, which is to show generated loads, you'll see that there are gray loads shown on my members that actually bound that particular area, including the member in the middle. Those are or represent the actual loads that are being generated by that area load. And as you can tell by the triangular distribution, we have a two-way loading span going on here. Where did, how does that set up? Well, if we click on the area itself, we can see that there's a span type variable that's currently set at two way. And we kind of see that because these little black arrows at the center of the area actually represent the span axes. If I switch that to one way, now we can see that it's spanning in the X direction. So these members along this edge are the only things that are loaded. And how is that direction set up? Well, again, with the X, X direction or the area selected, we can look at there's a global direction under span data. We'll switch that to Z and now we'll see we're spanning in the other direction. And then of course, these are the loaded members. So that shows you how member loads can get generated by area loads. Let's take that area now and generate some plates, which we originally didn't have. So I'm going to select generate plates. And when I do that, you see we have a plate mesh, but we still have our member loads. How do we switch that to get plate loads? Well, here, if we select the area load itself, we have an option as to apply to what it's currently set to members. If I switch that to plates, we'll see the member loads are gone now and all my plates have generated loads. So that demonstrates how we can take an area load and use it to generate plate loads. So in conclusion, you have the option with an area load to either generate member loads, which can be either from a one-way or two-way span, or you can generate plate loads.